Tonight, we're seeing a body camera footage of a scene that unfolded outside of a Corvallis hotel early this morning. It ended in an officer involved shooting that killed 32 year old Jeffrey Appelt. This happened outside the Days Inn around 3.30 a.m. This is after hotel staff called police saying a man was trying to get into guest rooms and acting aggressively. We want to walk you through the body and dash camera footage that the Corvallis Police Department released Saturday after officers responded, but with a warning. Morning. It's graphic and may be difficult to watch. Body camera footage shows a Corvallis police officer making contact with a man walking outside of the Days Inn. What's going on? Nothing. Leave me the alone. Hey, you alone. No! Stop. Leave hey. me the alone. Leave me the alone. Stop. Kill you. Things escalate almost immediately, and video shows the officer turning and running away. You can hear the suspect shouting threats after him. When the officer turns back around to tase the man, the footage is paused to show an item in the suspect's hand, and the officer deploys his taser. Hey, he's got a knife! I need a code three cover, he's got a knife! A reminder that this is in a public parking lot as you see a bystander walking by while the officer makes his way back to the building. The footage showing the suspect back at the front entrance fighting with a second officer. Did you get the still? Then running off. That's when the video cuts to another angle, a third officer's dash camera as he pulls into the lot. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! You will drop the knife! The man continues to advance with something in his hand, and then you hear the shots. Police called for medics and say they provided life-saving measures, but the man was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say they recovered two knives. Again, the man who died was identified as 32-year-old Jeffrey Appelt of Philomath. As is protocol, the Benton County Chief Deputy Attorney says the officers involved are now on administrative leave while the Albany Police Department and Benton County Major Crimes Team investigates.